Good morning students, myself Badi Alekya, Assistant Professor, Department of Artificial Intelligence and Machine Learning, RMD Engineering College. Today we are going to discuss about the basic concepts of React. In today's session, under basic concepts of React, we are going to understand what are components, how to create components and elements and what is JXX and how to represent states, props and what is virtual DOM. So let us enter into the session. Before going to see the practical demo, let us understand what is components, elements, states, props by in the code and then we will move to the demo. So how to create a component and represent elements under React.js is you have to import React. So like this, first statement, how to create a component means, this is the syntax for creating component. Import React within flower braces, you have to create a component. Under component, C should be caps. We are going to start from React. And then whatever the class name we are given when we are creating the project, inside our project one app is there class name is there that you have to extend by our component and then you have to write a render function inside the render function we are going to write return method what is this return method we will do means inside the return method we are going to write the representation of code what we expected on the browser is look like your html code but uh, if there is a difference, the name of the code which you are going to return under this return method is called as JSX. So whatever the code you are going to write inside the return method, we are called it as JXX. In today's session agenda, we have to know what is JXX. So here you can understand whatever this statements you are written inside this return method we call it as j s x and in this code you can understand how to create a compound what's the syntax for creating a compound import statement react terminate we have to give a separator when within flower places you have to create a component where from where you are create for where from where we are creating the component means from React. And after that, whatever the statement, if you want to write, you can mention under this return statements. And after that, I am going to close this thing. After closing the class and the render function, I have to export this app. I export this class to the React.js. So this is the procedure, whenever if you are going to create a component, you have to use two statements. At the starting, you have to use import. At the ending, you have to use export. This is the code for app.js. I am going to give some modifications. Before going to understand, I will move to the next thing. If I want to create another component, like this I have to create. Again, if I want to create another component, import react. Again, same syntax. Within the flower braces, I have to give component from react. Again, same thing like there in first app.js class app like that here class. The name of the class is welcome. Extends the components you are going to extend. So in this thing, we are going to understand what are states and props. So if you observe this coding, here if you observe state equal to, if I want to specify some variables in my form, if I want to represent in my browser specific variables, I can represent in the form of state. So what is the syntax for creating a state in your React? State equal to open the class 
that by using flower open races and occupation i am giving teaching so this is the way we are going to represent the state so there is a spelling mistake here you have to give this dot state dot occupation if you are giving like this it's a wrong you have to give state i will explain this code later what's the purpose of this code again same syntax if you are creating a component you have to create render function inside the render function you are going to write the return method under the return method here i am use props what is the purpose of the thing is before that i am giving directly the name if i am want to give the properties for that particular fields for example name this dot props name means and i i will show how i am going going to i am how i am connected one component to the another component here they are using some break what is meaning of this br slash means break definitely you have to close this tag after complete their usage and i am giving age this props dot age occupation this dot state dot occupation why i am using this dot state dot occupation means if i am use if i want to use the elements of state i have to use a keyword called this if i want to access the elements of state i have to use a keyword called this inside your return method so under that occupation this dot state dot occupation i am using and i am ending that particular tag now i am going to perform some action this action i will explain this this is useful for you guys to understand the concept of virtual dom i am creating a button in that button i am going to perform an action on click this dot handle click if you are observing there on top i am writing one code handle click equal to the syntax is represented by method followed by arrow mark inside it i am going to console log the click so on clicking and performing click operation the occupation which i mentioned in the state teaching is going to convert to it so in which way i am going to perform that action means what is the syntax for performing that action is this dot set state inside the flower braces occupation dot it so if i want to modify sorry if i want to modify the contents of states i have to write the syntax like this already in state i mentioned the occupation as teaching if i want to change the operation to it on click it is going to perform that operation means which syntax i have to use this dot set state don't use this dot state the occupation is the wrong syntax you have to use this dot set state inside that on clicking that button what it has to change that thing you have to provide in this brackets quotations same like that if you are creating a component render method is there inside that re sorry render function is there inside that render function you have to write return method in that that return method i am going i am explaining to you guys how to use prop names first you understand what is state state is useful for creating some variables if i want to change one operation to another operation i can also create on some buttons i will this is a concept under virtual dom and after that i am going to represents the props props means observe the previous code here i am writing something what is the name of this uh, the name of that component is welcome if i want to use the another component in this component i have to write the statement import welcome from dot slash welcome what is the meaning means i am creating js file some other js file and i am creating another component for that particular js file if i want to use that particular component in the inside another component means i have to use import 
that component name. That's why I'm writing the statement here. And after that again, within the tag I mentioned that color, black, character, good, name, Arun, age, something I mentioned here. If you are using string values, there is no need to use flower braces. Other than string values, if you want to pass, you have to use flower braces like that. Wherever if you have start a tag, you have to end the tag by using backslash. Like that, I am creating some operations here. Color, print, character, good, name, letter is 33. How to call this thing to that? See, by clicking, I want to input, there I write the, well, there I write the values for the component. If I click this dot properties, the name means from one component to another component. I am going to extract the features from one component to another component means the name, of, the name what I mentioned there is displayed on the browser. For communicating of properties from one page, one component to the another component, we have to use a statement, we have to use an element called props. So without delay, I will demonstrate how it is going to work under React.js.